Pleased to be joined by Mason Finley, former KU discus thrower, as he gets set to compete in the Rio Olympics, coming up starting August 5th and running all the way through August 21st. Mason, of course, was with the Jayhawks from 2009 to 2012 and has certainly been part of a great tradition at KU and now gets to represent the Jayhawks and, more importantly, the United States of America in Brazil. Mason, I know it's got to be a great feeling to be a part of the 2016 U.S. Olympic team. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's definitely a dream come true. Well, tell me about the moment you found out that you were going to Rio. Um, that would have been, I think... Uh on the finals day of trials and it was raining really bad there uh, a lot of competitors were having a tough time uh, throwing so it came down to yeah we had three throws to go and Tavis Bailey who got second place he came up to me and he was like man you know there's only us three that have the the Olympic standard and one other guy and he's not doing so hot so you know like at that point like he was pretty confident that we were the three to go but you never really know still you know and so um yeah after the last throw it was just uh i mean the feeling was surreal you know they had us uh do our victory lap with like the flag and everybody wanted our autographs and pictures you know which doesn't usually happen in track and field you know so i mean it was just uh yeah it was just an amazing feeling I know you've probably watched past Olympics, probably Athens, Beijing, and of course the most recent games in London. Was it your dream one day to be competing in future Olympics when you watched those games? Yeah, I remember the first Olympic games that I had watched was it was in Athens, and um, I'm sitting there. I think it was in middle school, uh, watching Casey Malone throw. He was an American uh, discus thrower then, and he was out of Boulder, you know. And I was growing up in Buena Vista, Colorado, so it was. Uh, pretty amazing to just see kind of you know a local-ish guy going out there and I felt like right then you know that's just something that I wanted to do and that was going to be my goal from then on. We see all the highlights and all the videos of the training so I'm sure this has taken not just months but years of training to get to yourself to this point. Yeah absolutely a lot of training a lot of speed bumps especially in college and you know it's uh, it just kind of happened this last two years just it was a lot of focus on what was really important and it, it was a game changer i understand you're trying to get your family to rio and of course it's not cheap to travel down there i know you've been holding some fundraisers how can people help get your family members to rio here in these few days um well in these next couple of days we we have a gofundme page still up of course through uh, facebook i've posted it and my mom has posted it um and then as well uh, we're also doing a fundraiser garage sale this weekend, Saturday, Sunday, here uh, on 2000 Tennessee Street. Um, and know a couple of families are putting stuff in, so um, we're also, I'll be selling posters and pictures of myself from uh, um, trials, you know, throwing and, you know, holding the medal, stuff like that. Having had your past experience at KU, of course you're representing the USA, but how much pride does it take knowing that you're a former Jayhawk and you're heading to Rio? There's a lot of you out there. I know it, yeah. It was pretty crazy to see how many uh, former and yeah Jayhawks were were out there. You know, it was uh, it was kind of cool, um, especially Kyle Clemens and Andrea Gabell. We were all we all came out in the same year, and so I mean, what a heck of a recruiting class that was, you know, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be great going down with them and just, you know. I guess you kind of feel like you're not competing alone, even though they're not in the same event. You know, you got you got people right there that have your back, and, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Well, Mason, we wish you the best of luck and uh, bring home the gold from Rio, you know, regardless of any result. I know that your family and your friends, folks in the Jayhawk family, just very proud of you that you're representing the USA in, in these great Rio Olympic Games. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. That's Mason Finley, former KU discus thrower. He'll be in the Rio Olympics Coming up this August 5th through the 21st, I'm Eric Stone for LawrenceHits.com.